So today I just want to do something a little bit different. Um, I figured I'd take you around um, our house and just show you some of my Amazon favorites that I have um, that I use uh, at least on a weekly basis, if not a daily basis. Some things that I like and I thought I'd just share them with you. Um, and instead of just, just sitting here and showing them to you, I figured I'd just take you around the house as I use them and let you see firsthand how they work and see what you think. So the first product that I'm going to show you is my Ninja Coffee Bar. It makes all kinds of different coffees, hot coffee or iced coffee like I like to make for myself. So over here on the panel here, there's a delay brew button if you want to get your coffee ready in the evening, have it ready in the morning. And then the, here there's a bunch of different sizes of different cups, all the way from a small coffee cup up to a full pot of coffee and every size in between. And then there's a classic and a rich brew, depending how you like your coffee, an over ice button, then there's a specialty coffee, a cafe forte, and then on the bottom is the cleaning button and the stay warm button for the coffee pot. And also another thing that I like is the drip stop that, that it has. Up here on top you can just slide this over so when you know when your coffee's almost done it keeps dripping and dripping. So if you just move that over it'll stop the drips and then you can just pull the coffee pot out and pour out your coffee. So that is a very nice feature that I like. Um, just a little added feature on here. And then here in the back here this comes out and then you have a milk frother which is very nice for making some of your specialty drinks and stuff. You just push the button on the top and it froths your milk and Jameson actually likes just cold milk froth. He thinks it's pretty great. Um, yeah it's just a thing I guess. So let's just go ahead and brew some coffee here. There's a little stand there that flips down for just your regular coffee cups. And here on the side, there's actually a little scoop that comes with it. It kind of tells you how much coffee to put in. The smaller scoop is for like your individual cups. And then the larger one is for the big coffee pot. So it just tells you kind of how many scoops to put in for whatever coffee you're making. So we'll just put the coffee up in the top in the reusable coffee filter or you can buy your own coffee filters that fit in there. And then we'll just slide this close. Um, we'll select the size. This is pretty much the coffee cup that I have here is the smallest size that it's showing on the dial here. So we'll just set it for that. And then I'll hit the classic brew button and then we'll just wait for it to brew. It usually takes a couple minutes to brew. So I want to show you how this drip stop works. It stops the coffee from dripping and then if I turn it back over then it'll start dripping again. So this is pretty much done. We're just going to flip it over again to the no drip. So this filled it up nice and full and this was this the smallest cup size that is on the dial. And here is our coffee all brewed. It's nice and steaming hot. And I have no complaints from my husband anyway that the coffee's not hot. Um, I don't drink hot coffee, so I'm not the person to ask. But yes, um, his coffee is always hot. So now moving on to, we're going to make some iced coffee, what I like to make for myself. We're going to just put one of the big scoops 
of coffee into the top and then fill up this glass of ice. And then we're gonna just do the specialty brew, which is like four ounces. And then we're just gonna wait for that to brew. All right, so now we have it brewed. We're just gonna add in some caramel sauce. And this is totally however you like the taste of it. You can just add however much you like and what flavors you like. I like vanilla and caramel in mine, but there's lots of flavors out there that you can try. And then I just add in some milk or creamer, something um, of that nature. And then stir it up good and then add some whipped topping on top if you would like and there you have it and I think this is really good this is kind of my morning drink if I want something it goes well with breakfast or yeah it, whenever you need a caffeine boost or something like that so yes this is my drink that I like to make for myself um, iced coffee So the next item is in our bedroom, these lamps. They are touch lamps, and I think they're just a nice lamp, a nice size. They're fairly tall, which is what I wanted. And another feature that they have is a USB plug-in here on the side for like your phone charger or whatever you have on your nightstand that, that has a USB plug. It's great, you don't have to run another cord. And yeah, like I said, it's a touch lamp, so you're not fumbling around in the dark looking for the, the switch on the lamp. And yeah, I think it's just a nice lamp for the different features that it has. Um, so far, no complaints on my part with this lamp. It comes in a pack of two, so it's perfect for your bedroom, one on each side of the bed. And eventually, I'd like to change out the lampshades, but they're fine for now. They're just a nice white. And then down here is another item that I use every day. It's my creative Bible. I like to use it for like my devotional Bible. It's very pretty. It's very feminine. It has this pretty flowers on the pages. And then you can use it like as a journal Bible. Um, there's pages to color like here on the sides as you can see there's journal lines um, Here's just one example of the pages that it has to color It is a KJV version And I think it's easy to read the words aren't the printing isn't too small um, And yeah, I think it's just fun to um, you can kind of personalize it as your own color of the pages and write your own little notes in there, thoughts of the day. Um, it has this ribbon marker and there's a couple full page pictures that you can color that go with like the Bible verse on that page or something like that. And yeah, I've really enjoyed this Bible so far and I think it's really pretty. All right, so on to the next item, and this is my Instant Pot, and y'all, I use this thing a lot. And right here, I'm making some yogurt. I was making a tutorial on how I make my yogurt. I make my own homemade yogurt in this thing, and it is so good. And on the nights that I don't have much time to cook for supper, it's really nice to have this. I can make all kinds of different dishes in here, 
and it's quick and easy and we have a good healthy meal so yeah this is one of my all-time favorites for the kitchen I use it a lot All right, and on to my next item is this crock pot that I have, and I've had this one for years and years, and it still works just fine. And I'm just gonna be making us some supper in here. It's like a chicken stew, and it was really good. But another thing that I like to use with this is the crock pot liners, which I was out of them when I made this video, but it is very nice to have the crock pot liners. They're like plastic liners that you could just put, put in the crock pot first and then you pour your food in on top of that. So there's like no cleanup and you just throw the bag away once you're done with the food and no cleanup, easy cleanup. And it has there's four different settings off of course and then low high and warm so there you go those are some of my all-time favorites and I hope you enjoyed this I will have everything linked in the description box if you want to go check it out thanks so much for watching and I hope you all have a good day until next time